Welcome everybody, this is Wolf Sickness and welcome to this YouTube video. Today I'll be teaching you how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro and use keyframing to actually zoom into stuff, zoom out and all that jazz. So, first of all, let's get into Adobe Premiere Pro, so let's load up the program. So, as you can see here, we are now into an actual project and first of all, obviously, you're going to have to grab your gameplay. So, I've got some Overwatch gameplay, just importing a file, so just drag it down there easy as pie okay so this is only like a two minute 50 clip as you can see right there so yeah as you can see the clip is right here so first of all you have to click on your sequence so that's unclicked click on it then go up there where it says effect controls press there and as you can see you have a motion bit see toggle effect on and off so there is like a little drop down bar so press the drop down bar there you go then there's position scale and rotation toggle them all on just like that so first of all what that has done that has created a keyframe so if you want to zoom in very very slowly all you have to do is go like all right let's zoom in see that's the five second mark right there as you can see we are going to get to five seconds we are now on five seconds and if you want to zoom in what you have to do is add keyframe add keyframe add keyframe as you can see well that hasn't really done anything has it kieran no so all you have to do is either Change the position like that, change the scale like that, or change the rotation. But what I like to do is double click on your footage while your keyframes are selected. And then make the scale bigger like that. And then if you create your window a little bit bigger, you can add rotation. So I'm going to add about that rotation and then I will show you what that looks like. As you can see, that was the keyframing. As you can see, that was a very, very, very slow keyframe. So I will make it fast for you guys and show you what it's actually going to look like. So the keyframes are just up here and I'll show you what that is going to look like. See, a whole lot faster. And then if you want to actually zoom back in, this is very, well, it's not advanced. It's very easy, actually. All you have to do is copy your first keyframes just there. Control C on your keyboard or right click and copy. And then however quickly you want to go back. So let's say you want to add keyframes there. Control V, there you go. Or just paste the keyframes. And now, now let's play the footage. See, easy as pie. And then if you want to create a continuous thing, all you have to do is delete those. And then put that back there. And then let's watch this. See, there's so much to do with zooming in with the keyframes. So yeah, uh, literally this tab is how you can do the keyframing. If you don't use this tab, then I don't think there's any other way to keyframe. So if you do want to actually make everything seamless kind of thing, highlight these as the position one doesn't do it. Right click, ease in. Now watch this. Just looks a little bit more smooth if you get what I mean. So at this part I died but I nearly got a kill. So I'm going to add a black and white. Then I'm going to add some sad music So This is what keyframe is actually used for like your gaming YouTube videos. So yeah, uh, first of all you have to find out where the point you're going to die. So I died right there. So go frame by frame. I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard to do this frame by frame. So as you can see, I died there. First of all, add in your keyframes. So rotation, scale, position. Easy as pie. And then you're going to have to, I'm going to press shift on my keyboard and right or like directional thing twice. So look at this. That skipped ahead 10 frames. As you can see, down the bottom, that is skipping frames because shift actually makes you go super, super quick in your thing. So yeah, let's zoom in a little bit and I'm going to show you that again. See, as you can see, just down there, that does it. So, yeah, um, well, that's going to be a very, very quick zoom in. So, we aren't actually going to do that. We're going to do about there-ish. And then we are going to be zooming in to my dead body. Because I was just, like, humilita hum humiliated. Uh, then we're going to go like that a little bit. And then, there we go. Easy as pie. Go to your effects and type in white. And then it will say image control, black and white literally so the point that the keyframing starts okay the point that the keyframing starts so we're gonna have to zoom in a little bit here 
and make sure everything is perfect. So the keyframing starts there. So add a uh, press C on your keyboard and then go like that. Easy as pie. All right, now let's go back one frame. Boom, there you go. And then we're gonna add a black and white onto this. So as you can see, the color changes. Uh, you can mask it. So if you only want a certain section, so see that bit is black and white, but we are not doing mask today. I'll be doing mask another kind of video. So yeah, um, now what you gotta do is get the sad music. You gotta get the sad music, otherwise it just doesn't make it sad. So once your sad music has been downloaded, just drag it in, there you go. And then get to the part that actually gets sad. So that's the part that you get sad, so press C to cut, and then boom, delete that, and then let's watch this for everybody. Easy, really, really easy, and then if you want to zoom out, then all you have to do, copy your keyframes, go like that, easy as pie, and then change these bits because that's the starting location just to go over there and then let's watch that through so yeah that is how you keyframe in adobe promo pro if you want any other tips or advice or anything like that please do comment down below as that would be highly appreciated. But yeah, that is how you keyframe in Adobe Premiere Pro 2018 CC. All that jazz. Uh, I'm gonna be starting tutorials on my channel because I really do enjoy editing and stuff. Uh, this was like a basic guide kind of thing. And then obviously I'll be getting to more advanced tutorials and everything like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Pete Wilson and you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, probably be doing masking or blurring out or something along those lines. Maybe adding music, how to basically edit on Adobe Premiere Pro. But yeah, uh, there might be Photoshop tutorials. I'm going to stop talking now. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Comment down below if you had any issues or if you genu genuinely enjoyed this video. But yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out. Thank you for watching.